Hey everybody, how's it going? In this video, we will learn how to set up a Python development environment using the Eclipse IDE and the PyDev plugin. Um, so if you've watched my videos before, then you've probably noticed that I do a lot of my Python programming within a text editor called Sublime Text. Now the reason that I use that for my tutorials is because it's nice and clean and there's not a lot of other bells and whistles that are getting in the way and it really allows us just to uh, focus on the code. But an IDE, which is an integrated development environment, uh, it does have some advantages over a text editor. So for example, if you want to debug your code, then Eclipse will allow us to set breakpoints and uh, and step through line by line in our code and print out variables and step into functions and a lot of different um, things that we just can't do in a text editor. Um, so in this video we will get Eclipse installed and also uh, get a Python environment set up to where we can begin writing Python code. So right now I'm over here on the Eclipse website and um, so the first thing that we're going to do is install this Eclipse installer. So let's go ahead, I'm on a Mac so I'm going to download this Eclipse installer. It's going to take us to the, uh, another download page here and I'm just going to click this download link here and it will take you to a, a donation page. Eclipse is open source software so if you have the money to make a donation then I'm sure they'd appreciate it. But if, uh, if not, then we can just wait for our download to finish. Okay, so that uh, download has finished, so I'm going to go ahead and open up this Eclipse installer. Okay, now first thing, when you open up the Eclipse installer, uh, right off the bat you might see this over here that says that it needs an update. So let's go ahead and run that update, and it'll restart the installer for us. Okay, so now we've restarted that installer. Now this is the point where some people get confused because there's not a specific version of Eclipse just for Python right out of the box. So you can see here that we have an Eclipse IDE for Java developers, for C and C++, PHP, um, and all these different things. Now a lot of people will just download the Java developers version and then add in all the Python stuff after that on their own. Um, and it does come with some... Uh, it already does come with a Git client and the marketplace and things like that. Um, but really, I uh, don't like that extra overhead. So kind of what I like to start with whenever I'm doing Python development is just to start with the Eclipse platform. And you can see here that it says that this package contains the absolute minimal IDE, suitable only as a base for installing other tools. Um, and that's what we want to do. We're going to install a Python um, environment on top of this. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that platform. And you can choose the Java version if you'd like, and everything will still work just fine. Um, uh, but now that we're in here, I'm just going to accept these defaults. It's going to install the Java JVM and then the installation folder. You can choose where it installs Eclipse. So I'm just going to choose install here and let this finish. Now once this finishes here, I'm just going to go ahead and launch this. And when it first pops up, it may ask us a couple of things. So for example, it's going to ask us, ask us to select a workspace. And this is where it will... Uh, put all of our projects and files. So I'm just going to accept this default location here. And so now we have a new version of Eclipse here. So I'm just going to uh, maximize this and then I'm going to click on go to workbench here. Okay, so now that we're within here, uh, now we want to install PyDev. PyDev is a plugin which will allow us to do Python development. Um, so for example, right now, right out of the box, if we go up here and go File, New, Project, you can see here that all we have is this general project here. There's nothing that is Python specific. So to fix this, let's go to Help, and we want to install new software. Now the new software that I'm going to install is one called Marketplace. Um, now this is something that uh, allows us to install uh, things in the future a little bit more easily. Now Marketplace comes installed already if you were to choose the Java version but from where we started from just the bare minimum Eclipse platform uh, we need to install the Marketplace. So I'm just gonna choose all available sites here for what to work with and then I'm just gonna search for Market and it should find that for us. So it's here under General Purpose Tools Marketplace Client so I'm gonna go ahead and choose that 
and then walk through this installation process and go ahead and accept these terms and choose all the defaults. So now it is installed and it says that we need to restart Eclipse. That's probably going to happen a few times while we're doing this. So let's go ahead and do that. So now that we have restarted Eclipse, we should have the uh, marketplace installed. So now if we click on help, instead of going to install new software, let's go ahead and click on this Eclipse marketplace. Now the marketplace is just a more visually appealing uh, area to download new software rather than the um, uh, where we were before where we had to manually look through all those different sites for the marketplace and things like that. Uh, so what we want to install here in the marketplace is PyDev. Now we can either search for it, uh, but it's also very popular. So we just, if we just click on this popular tab, then it should just be the third or fourth one down from the bottom. And you can see, uh, you can also install whatever else you want here. You can see that there are some color themes, uh, some ways to integrate Eclipse with Subversion. Um, so if we scroll down here, uh, you can see that PyDev, I think it was like the fifth one down, uh, so we can just click install here and it's going to tell us uh, all the things that we need to install with this. So let's go ahead and click confirm and let this run through. Now I'm going to go ahead and accept these terms and click finish. And now this may take a while to install here. I'm going to go ahead and trust these certificates and click OK. Now once that is finished installing, then we'll have to restart Eclipse again. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so now we have PyDev installed. So we should be able to go to File, New Project like we did before. But now instead of just General here, we have this PyDev option. And if we um, go down in, into here, we can see that we can make a Django project, we can make a Google, Google App Engine project, or just a PyDev project. And this is just for your regular Python projects. So I'm gonna choose PyDev project and click Next. And then I'm just gonna call this project name uh, demo underscore project. And then we can choose use all of the defaults here. You can see that's gonna put it into our workspace here. We can choose our Python version that we wanna use. I'm just gonna leave it at 2.7. Now it may choose an interpreter for you, but it may uh, say that you don't have an interpreter selected. So what I'm just gonna do here is click on please configure an interpreter and just let it auto config. It's just gonna choose my default Python interpreter. So that may have already selected the default interpreter for you, but if it didn't, then you can just click on uh, that link that I clicked on and uh, cl click on the quick auto configuration and it should set the default interpreter for you. So for everything else, I'm just going to leave the defaults and click finish. And now this is gonna pop up and say that this kind of project is, an, is associated with the PyDev perspective. Do you wanna open this perspective now? Uh, I'm just gonna click on remember my decision and hit yes. And I usually recommend that you open up the PyDev perspective because um, it lays out all your windows here in the way that um, they believe is best for Python development. And if you don't entirely like the layout, then you can always customize it yourself later on. Um, so now we have this demo project here and I'm just going to right click on this demo project and go to new and now you can see that we have a uh, file but instead of file I'm going to choose PyDev module. So now this is another case where an IDE kind of comes in handy over uh, a text editor because this can set up a lot of stuff for us. So for example if I want to put my module directly inside of a package so I can just do a test underscore package as the name of the package that I want to put it in and you can see here it's going to say note package not found which means it, it doesn't exist yet and that they will create it for us so now the name of my module I'm just going to call this test module and uh, I don't think you need to put the dot pi yeah so it says that the name may not contain any dots so it'll put the dot pi extension on for you so just call it uh, test module or whatever you want to call it and click finish and then it's going to cop, uh, pop up with some preferences here, and I'm just going to leave these defaults and click OK. And now it's going to ask us if we want to use a template. So uh, if we use the empty template, then it's just going to uh, put the, the timestamp at the top of the file. But if you're going to write a class or something like that, then you can choose the class template, and it'll fill in a lot of boilerplate code for you. Like it'll put the, uh, the dunder init function in for you, and 
uh, and things like that. But I'm just going to choose the empty template. And you can make your own templates also if you have a specific way that you like to make new files. But for now, I'm just going to hit empty. And um, you may see this pop up to read documentation for PyDev. I'm just going to click on show later. Okay, so now I have my newly created uh, test module, and you can see that it did add in uh, the date and the author here. Um, and you can also see over here on the right within our project that when we put this within a package, it went ahead and made the uh, init file for us over here and everything like that. So it's nice that it went ahead and made all the files that we need in order to make this a package. Um, so now we should be ready to write some code here. So if I just do a print, uh, hello world. Now I am in Python uh, 2.7 still, so uh, the print function is going to look like this. And now I can just go ahead and run this code. And when I run it, it's going to ask me if I want to run it as a Python or as a unit test. So I'm just going to choose Python. Click OK. And now you can see that it ran our code here and it's showing the output within the console. So really, if you wanted just a basic Python uh, setup in Eclipse, then uh, you should be done. You can go ahead and do whatever it is that you need to do. Uh, but I'm also going to show you some of my um, uh, more favorite preferences here. So for example, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, change the font and make it a little bit bigger. And I also like dark themes uh, just because uh, whenever I'm looking at a computer, sometimes these really bright themes uh, kind of hurt my eyes after some time. Um, so for here, for the theme, instead of Mac, I'm going to choose dark. And for the color and font theme, I'm also going to choose, well, I'll just leave that at default and click apply and see how this looks. Okay, so that looks good there with the dark theme. And now I'm also going to expand the appearance here and go on colors and fonts. And for the basic font, which will control this font in here, um, I'm going to scroll down and the text font is what you want to change to change uh, the font within um, your source code editor here. So I'm going to edit this and I'm going to use uh, source code pro and I'm going to set this just so you guys can see better. I'm going to choose size 18 for now and apply that and click OK. And actually, I'm going to open up these preferences one more time and uh, show you guys. Um, it looks like this font got set to something else here. Maybe I don't have Source Code Pro installed on this machine, or my uh, um, uh, clicks are just kind of moving around here funny. Uh, okay, so yeah, that's what I wanted there. Now, there are also some PyDev specific preferences that we can run. So if we look over here in the right, we have this PyDev option. So if I uh, expand this, then within editor, I'm going to open this up. Now within here, you can specifically choose how you want uh, certain things to look as far as your decorators and numbers and things like that. Um, but really, uh, the one thing that I like to select whenever I uh, first um, install clips is to go in here to code style and then code formatter. And I like to automatically set my code to be auto pep 8 compliant. So I'm going to click this um, use auto pep 8 for code formatting. Now, if there are any, I don't know, uh, you don't, if you don't know what auto pep 8 is, it's not a big deal, but it's just a way to uh, kind of check your code for certain, um, in to make your code more consistent. And also, uh, if there's anything that you want to ignore with auto pep 8, you can look the, all these up online. Um, then you can put in your ignores here. So if there's certain errors that you want to skip over, then you can do this dash dash ignore uh, within here and set it up that way. Now I'm also going to click here on save actions and uh, it says that the apply save actions, um, I'm going to do an auto format editor contents before saving. Now what this means is that I don't have to, uh, What it's just going to uh, auto format all of the code um, uh, right before I save the code. So now I'm going to go down here to apply and click OK and then click OK here. So now for example if I go to write a function and do a uh, test function here and then just pass this and then do a test two function and then go to save it. Now let me put in the passcode here as well. And now you can see whenever I save that, 
it uh, automatically put in the spacing between these two different functions. So I like that auto pep eight uh, selection. If you don't like it, then you can turn it off. But uh, it's nice whenever you're working on large projects for everybody to have all their spacing and everything like that consistent. So that about does it for the basic Python setup within Eclipse that I wanted to show you guys. Um, now, if you do want to install more software, then I would give the marketplace a look. Um, you know, Eclipse has a lot of different plugins. So they have plugins for uh, Git if you want to use uh, some Git functionality within Eclipse. Um, they have other color themes that you can choose from. Uh, this default color theme here it isn't the one that I usually use. I usually uh, install some other ones um, that look a little bit better. So if you want to look at any of those, then you can just uh, do a search here. If I just type in um, color, then some stuff will come back. And also, I would give the uh, popular tab a look because if you click on the popular tab, then these are some of the more um, popular color themes and also, um, like I said, some of the uh, plugins that people frequently use like this so this one is for subversion and they also have this uh, moonrise dark theme that is uh, likely a little bit different than this dark theme here so I would definitely give all those a uh, look all those over and uh, try to set this up to the way that you like it but that about does it for this video um, if you have any questions about this stuff just ask in the comment section below uh, be sure to subscribe for future videos I uh, Maybe I'll make some videos on how to debug projects within Eclipse and things like that. So hopefully you all found this uh, video useful and thank you for watching.